Ayan Gupta is good at many things, be it Rubik's Cube or Bottle Toss. He has his own YouTube channel. Italy. Italy. For him, conquering challenges has been child's play until... I couldn't believe it. I continued to say it was a lab error. Um, a lab error. He was completely normal with no complaints, no symptoms. No symptoms of acute lymphatic leukemia. Ayan's parents are doctors, fortunate to live in Memphis. We knew St. Jude was the perfect place to be for the cancer that my child had. Treating childhood cancer is not kid stuff. The regimens are difficult. What parts of it did you not like? I didn't like taking the liquid medicines. So then I learned how to take pills. How much of a difference did it make to learn how to take a pill? It was much better. They eased his mind by talking to him through every single step of treatment or procedure. Ayan's doctor, it turns out, has a little extra in her resume. My name is Maggie Cupid Link. I take care of kids with cancer. Dr. Cupid Link herself was a patient at St. Jude when she was in college. What was the diagnosis? Ewing sarcoma, which is one of the types of childhood bone cancer. I was 19. She was hospitalized for a year. My treatment included lots of chemotherapy, as well as a really big surgery where they removed the bones and the tumor and replaced it with metal. So this is my scar from the surgery. 19-year-old Maggie was not a model patient. I wish I could say that I was just had a great attitude the whole time, but I did not. Until she took a good look at her fellow patients. They're so resilient and genuine and not afraid of death the way that grown-ups are. And then I knew if I live, then this is the kind of doctor I'll be for them. What does it mean to you to have a physician who's quite responsible for your son's health, mm -hmm. who was actually a patient here once herself? It means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. I think somewhere in the back of my head, I thought um, this child may not be able to do what he needed to do. Um, but when Dr. Maggie walked in and she told me that she herself was a patient and that she overcame all of this and is doing what she's doing now, I became hopeful. <laughs> But he's allowed to dream, and he's allowed to be whatever he wants to be. Yep. There's nothing better than the feeling of knowing that I'm helping these kids in a way that is unique because I understand something that they're going through. All of which makes for a really good story, but there's more. When I was just 21, I went into menopause. Dr. Cupid Link and her husband planned on adopting, but... So they woke up, the ovaries, which there's actually not medical literature on. Yes, Dr. Cupid Link got pregnant. It definitely is one of those moments where you realize that you're not in control of what happens to you. Healing is not only about science. St. Jude brought us hope and faith, which was very crucial to get through this process. We have definitely evolved in a way we never thought we would. Isn't that something? It totally is. Ayan, Imani, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness. And there's a baby. There's so many lighters. You got to see amazing. the baby picture. Okay. Lila Jude. Wow. Lila, oh my gosh. Talk about a miracle. Right? <laughs> oh Marlo, my gosh. Marlo Thomas, of course, the National Outreach Director for St. Jude. Marlo, happy Thanksgiving to Thank you. Thank you so much. What a beautiful story. Maggie, you know, she she's a patient. Then she goes into the medical field. How common is that? Very. Is it's it amazingly common that so many of the doctors want to come back and help the patients. But not only that, they want to make it easier on the kids today than it was on them. And she's amazing because not only does she do treat the children, but she's doing research and mm -hmm. clinical trials to come up with less toxic uh, treatments for the children. Yeah, she's working in an advanced degree in that, yeah. along with everything it's else. It's amazing. Great story. That was Happy what we Thanksgiving, this Harry. Morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank Barbara. you very much. We're okay. thankful for you. We're very Thank thankful to, to the Today Show to tell all these stories. And we're thankful to you as well. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.